Hi, I welcome you all to the Zoho Finance Masterclass. I am Rajeshri, and I will be your speaker for this webinar. This masterclass is a series of webinars that will help the users get the most out of the Zoho Finance suite. Zoho Finance is a suite comprising of financial products such as books, invoice, expense, inventory, subscriptions, and checkout, which aids businesses in their entire back office operations. We have now started off with Zoho Books, continued by webinars on all the other products in future. Now, what is Zoho Books? Zoho Books is an online accounting software that helps small and medium business owners to manage their receivables and payables, track inventory, and maintain financial reports. The course structure for the Masterclass series has started off from setting up your Zoho Books account to setting up your payment gateway. The topic for today would be getting tax compliant with Zoho Books. The topics 1 to 11 have been covered in the earlier webinars for which you can watch the recorded version. Let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, we will be looking at the different tax settings available in Zoho Books followed by setting up the taxes used in our business. We will then have a look at the different tax reports that will be generated, filing our tax returns, followed by managing tax payments. Also, we will have a brief look at the Avalaro integration and its benefits. Now let us check out our first topic, setting up Taxes. The tax settings for GST, QST and PST are all the same. The important information to be provided here are as follows. Tax Agency Now the tax agency to whom we pay our tax must be selected here. Make sure to select the tax agency that you have mentioned while creating this particular tax. The reporting period can be selected here as per requirements. By selecting the reporting period here, we are actually setting the time interval for generating the tax reports. Next up, we have the tax fiscal year. This is nothing but the financial year that we follow in our business. It could be January to December, April to March, or just about anything else which you can select here. The next information to be provided is the tax basis. This has two options which are accrual, which means you calculate your taxes based on the invoices created, that is, you calculate your tax based on the invoice due date. The next option is cash, which means you calculate your taxes after you have received the payments. That is, you calculate your tax based on the payment receipt. This option asks us to mention the date from when the taxes must be generated. In case you have generated ta tax returns in the past, it will automatically display the date from when you have generated your last tax return. Now that we have set up the tax report settings, let us see how to incorporate tax while creating transactions. To create taxable transactions, first of all, we need to set our tax rates. For this, navigate to the Taxes section in Settings and select Tax Rates. Click on New Tax option. The different taxes that one can create here are the GST, HST, PST 
and QST. Among these taxes, there are two classifications. One is the value-added tax and the other is a compound tax. A value-added tax means that a tax is levied essentially on the value that is added at each step of production. In this method, the taxes are levied only once on the value addition that occurs in a product and it avoids, avoids double taxation. A compound tax is also known as a stacked tax. This is because it is levied on the total amount which includes a federal tax which was applied earlier. Now let us enter the details like tax name, the percentage and the tax agency to which you will be paying the tax. Also select whether it is a value added tax or a compound tax and you are good to go. Now we have created the tax rates required for our business. The next step is to enable tax for the goods we sell. This is done while creating the item in the items module where you will be asked for the tax preference for that particular item. Finally, all that we have to do is associate the appropriate tax with the goods when, select, when creating the sales transaction. We are now moving on to the tax reports section of Zoho Books. The tax reports is such an important section as it helps businesses stay tax compliant by submitting the necessary tax return forms. This section has four different reports which we will be discussing individually. First up we have the tax summary with us. This report shows the list of taxes and the corresponding tax percentages. It gives the taxable amount and the calculated tax amount to be paid. Here we have the GST or HST returns which is one of the most important taxes levied by the government federally across the goods and services in Canada. The combination of GST and PST is called HST or the Harmonized Sales Tax. It is levied in the provinces of New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, Ontario and Prince Edward Island. These provinces don't apply GST and PST separately. They levy only one combined tax called HST. The next is the QST or the Quebec Sales Tax Return. The QST is levied on sale of all goods and services in Quebec and the business owners are required to pay GST and QST for all the sales made. The next report is the PST return. In addition to the GST levied federally, every province levies a provincial sales tax or the PST. This is a compound tax levied on the total amount along with the federal tax. The next most important section is filing our tax returns. The first step in this process is to generate the tax returns. For this, all you have to do is navigate to the uh, taxes section in the reports module and select the tax report that you want to generate and in the following window select generate option. Here I have chosen to generate the GST or HST return. You will now be able to see the generated tax return form with the appropriate tax calculations. You can file your returns online at the Canada Revenue Agency website. If this statement has been filed with your tax authority, you will want to mark this return, this return as filed. To do so, click on the mark as filed option and enter that date when you filed your return and click OK.
as we need to keep these tax return forms documented properly we can print these to maintain a hard copy of the documents or export these to be stored as soft copy finally let us see how to manage tax payments first of all we need to keep a tag tab of the tax payments we are yet to make this can be accessed from the tax dues tab under the tax payment section in accountant module of zoho books i repeat this can be accessed from the tax dues tab under tax payments section in accountant module of zoho books the next step is to make payments in case our net tax returns are exceeding $3000 we may have to make payment in installments to the canada revenue agency to do that there are two main requirements first we need to set the reporting period to yearly in the tax settings and the next requirement is to have a bank account in canadian dollars which is linked to our zoho books account to facilitate installment payments After meeting these requirements we can now record installment payments by clicking on the installment payment option and entering the details regarding the tax payment made it is as simple as that lastly to keep a track of the tax payments that are already made we have the payments history tab under the tax payments section Now we have come to the last topic in today's session Avalara integration In order to integrate Avalara with Zoho Books navigate to the integration section in settings and click connect in the Avalara section Enter your credentials and click save Avalara Avatax helps to automatically assign taxability rules to our contacts and apply the latest tax jurisdictions to help calculate the right amount of tax. This is mostly helpful for medium to big business owners who have a lot of contacts and handle transactions on a daily basis. We have now come to the end of this session. Let's have a quick recap of what we saw so far. So at first, we looked at the different tax settings available in Zoho Books, followed by setting up the taxes used in our business. We then had a look at the different tax reports that would be generated, filing our tax returns, followed by managing tax payments. Also, we had a brief look at the Avalara integration and its benefits. I hope this session helped you clear your doubts. Thank you for joining us. If you have any queries, please feel free to get in touch with us and we will be more than happy to help you. Also, have a look at our help document and FAQs for your reference.